Hey all, hello and welcome, Tony Bing here. For this beginner's guide video I'll be looking at a hero that I believe is one of the most underrated heroes in the game and that would be Black Widow. Now she actually has a huge amount of utility in her kit and she's got stealth on her dash which can be really useful from a survival perspective. Now on top of that she has a ton of skills, uh, so many so that in this video I'll actually be doing three different gameplay run throughs in order to show them all off. Now for this video anyway, what we will be showing off is firstly we look at our primary attributes, her traits and resource, and she does have a unique resource. We'll then check out a few of her rather awesome looking costumes, have a look at her signature and ultimate, and then as mentioned we finish up with the three gameplay run throughs and they consist of mainly the melee skills first, then we look at the voltage side of things with her, and finishing up we then look at all her gadgets such as her bombs and her grenades and so on, but first up, let's have a look at her attributes, traits and resource. First up here then we look at her offensive trait and this is Red Room Reflexes, so with this you gain a 15% critical hit damage bonus. On top of this she has the Archetype Strategist and as mentioned in other beginner's guide videos this is currently the best Archetype due to the fact you gain a bonus from fighting and intelligence. Fighting offers you crit rating multiplier, intelligence offers you crit damage rating. For her defensive trait we have Kevlar Reinforced Body Suit, so with this you have 700 health per second for 4 seconds regen when you use your med kit. Her arch type is nimble and that gives you a bonus multiplier to both deflect and dodge rating and on top of that if you choose to use any melee skills in your rotation you have close quarters where you'll gain the 8% damage reduction for 3 seconds after using a melee power. Her resource is called Bite Voltage and with that it makes her primary resource voltage. So with this powers that are tagged with the gauntlet tag will spend voltage. Voltage does not naturally regenerate when it's fully drained it regenerates at a rate of 25% of max voltage per second so that would take you 4 seconds to go back up. While it's actually regenerating back up again you can't use powers that are tagged gauntlet. Now in regards to this particular aspect of her, her signature actually restores 100% of the voltage. So something we'll talk about later in the video is how you want to get your voltage to a point where you can actually use it for the cooldown of your signature to come down and then you use your signature to get it straight back up to 100% so you don't have the 4 seconds of downtime. That is only of course if you're going for a voltage build. If you're going for other builds such as just regular melee or grenades then you don't have to worry about resource at all which is really pretty great. But what we'll do next in this video is we'll check out a few of our costumes. First costume we look at here as always will be her default and this is from the Avengers movie and it's a really great looking costume since it's had its visual update. We then have the Civil War costume, this one's really nice, you'll notice the difference in the hairstyles with all these costumes, it's a small touch but it's something that's quite great. We then have the Age of Ultron, I like this one a lot, all the, the blue highlights on it, it's really nice. Finishing up we have my favourite costume, this one just looks absolutely fantastic and she looks fantastic as well. This is a classic costume. Now what we'll do, because we've looked at the core of her and we've checked out a few of her costumes, next up we have a look at her signature and also her ultimate. For the signature we have a skill called Twilight Cloaking Device, this is actually an artifact in the game as well, but with this, when you use it you will instantly refresh all powers currently in cooldown. And as mentioned earlier in the video, you regenerate 100% of your voltage. You have a dot for 5 seconds. You slow the enemy by a whopping 80%. You stun the enemy for 5 seconds. And also you can gain a buff effect where you'll be invisible for the 5 second duration. You gain 1500 damage and you also regenerate 10% of your max health a second. So it really is a fantastic signature. But what we'll look at next will be her ultimate skill. For the ultimate we have a, a pretty simple skill but it is one that thematically makes sense for her. This is called Shield Assault. So with this you'll have a, a shield airstrike that covers the area and then that's followed up by some summons that come in. So you've got the shield shotgun agent and you've also got the shield 
minigun agent as well. Now, the initial duration on that is for 20 seconds. So while it's all going off, you can, of course, attack at the same time. So this can be really pretty nice. What we'll look at next, as we've already mentioned earlier in the video, is we have three gameplay run-throughs to actually look through. The first one will be a run-through of the Shocker terminal, and we'll check out mainly her melee skills. Now, just before we run through the skills that we preview, one thing I'll mention, I don't normally show off the dash, uh, but I will mention here for this video that when she does dash, she gains stealth, so that's a really useful mechanic there, and it's good for dropping aggro if you need to. Now, the first skill we look at anyway, this will be her main melee bleeding skill. This is Deadly Blade, so you've got the initial damage, but it also does a bleed for two seconds as well. We follow that up with Sweep Kick, which is a melee A attack. This is good for taking out trash, but on top of that, it actually provides vulnerability as well. And if you use this, either when stealthed or within one second of breaking stealth, then it actually gains a 100% damage bonus as well. So you can roll up to the enemy invisible, a big group of them, and do the sweep kick with the bonus damage to take them down. That works really well. Next skill, this is Deadly Kick. So this is just really a standard high hitting cooldown. With this particular one, it has a 100% critical hit chance, and on top of that, it actually gains 100% critical and brutal damage as well, so it can really hit quite hard. We then have a skill that's pretty good from a mobility perspective, if you need to get out of the way, you can see I used it just there, and that would be backflip kick, so you do the initial damage, and then you'll jump back as well and do the kick, and a great skill to follow this up is the next one we look at, and this is a homage to Trinity from the Matrix, so already I like it for that reason. This is Coup de Grace, so with this you've got the initial damage packet, it has 100% critical hit chance and you also do the execute on it as well. So I really do love jumping back, then pulling out the pistol and shooting the enemy. It really does work pretty great. Now the final skill we'll look at here, this is Covert Sniper. So with this particular one, you will do an extra 100% damage if you do charge it up and you will also be stealthed for 2 seconds while you're using the skill. So you can roll in, hold it down to channel and the entire duration of the channel you'll be stealthed. So it's a pretty nice skill and it does work really well on Natasha given her that assassin feel. But we'll run through the rest of this terminal and show off all these different skills together. There's a covert sniper, it really does look great. And then we've got the kick there, taking out the trash. So as mentioned we roll up to them invisible and then do that kick and it takes out the trash over a wide area. And here we go for Shocker. I will actually mention, she does have quite a lot of good other AoE abilities in her kit, but for the purpose of showing off these melee skills, the, the kick there is the one that works really good for taking out the trash, but it's not something that she struggles for at all. She's great single target or AoE. You can see that jump back followed by the cryptic ice. Really does look pretty great. There we go. Try to finish him off with a sniper shot, which would have looked pretty great, but I just didn't get his health down low enough. But that was all the melee side of things. So next up, we'll look at the voltage side of things. And these are pretty great. And personally, this is my favourite section. For this run through of the Kingpin's warehouse, we'll check out the voltage side of things and show off the awesome Age of Ultron costume which works really well with the first skill we'll look at. This is her melee voltage skill and it's called Electric Baton. So you've got the initial two damage hits. On top of this you have Baton Sting if you have voltage and this will do energy damage and it will actually arc and hit three enemies as well. Now if you want you can actually go for a ranged voltage spender instead and that would be Sting and Barrage. It's a pretty simple skill and what it does, because it's just got the damage packet, but it does have the fact that when she uses it, she'll put her arms out and fire the actual voltage from her wrist supports. That really does look great. The next skill we have is, this is normally a grenade skill, a regular grenade, but it's actually modified through talents to become conductive grenades. So you've got the damage packet, you have the vulnerability for 8 seconds. Now on top of this, it has a debuff called 
conductive fluid so when you hit an enemy that has been affected by conductive fluid with a voltage power you will do extra electric power damage on them and you also stun them for two seconds that's a really nice mechanic now the next skill we look at is one we're using here to take out the trash and this is shock field so it's a large AOE voltage skill and through talents if you wish you can set it up so that this skill would use 100% of your voltage however the more voltage it uses the higher damage it actually does so it's an interesting build you can go for should you wish with that particular skill for the final voltage skill we have stinging shot so with this she's firing out a blast of electricity and it will actually arc between 10 different enemies which is a huge number and on top of that it will knock them down for 2.5 seconds so I really do like this and it makes the voltage side of things very good for clearing trash that's Dr Octopus down, fairly easy there so what we'll look at next will be more her grenades and gadgets side of things first skill we look at for this run through of the Taskmaster Terminals Bullet Barrage so with this one it's your main range spender it does pierce the enemy however for subsequent enemies you actually hit by the pierce you will actually get a damage reduction all the way up to a maximum of 40% next skill this is anti-personnel grenades so you'll toss out the grenades this does vulnerability for 8 seconds and it stuns the enemy as well so it's quite a good utility skill in that respect we then have widow's kiss and this would be your weakened skill actually works as a dot, the dot lasts for 8 seconds and it will slow the enemy as well so that's another nice skill we follow up with more grenades this time we have rolling grenades and you'll throw these out and they'll do the initial damage packet but they'll actually leave a burn on the enemy for 8 seconds as well currently we can throw out 3 grenades however through talents we can increase the cooldown and throw out more grenades so you can make it a heavier hitting skill should you wish we then have micro drones, so with this she calls in a swarm of automated micro drones to seek out and destroy the enemy. Now it's dot damage that it'll do and it does that for 2 seconds. On top of that, through talents you can actually have it cast twice but it will only use the voltage from the initial cast. Now the final skill we look at here is a unique one and I don't believe there's any other heroes that have a skill that works mechanically the same as this and this is timed explosive so this actually has four charges so you throw out four of these explosives and if nothing else happens after you've thrown them out they'll detonate after six seconds so you can surround the enemy throw them down and then just run away and they'll go off and take the mobs out now should you wish after you've used all your max charges the skill actually changes to a detonator so you can remote detonate those four charges straight away which is really quite interesting and I do like that but here we go we'll fire off all these skills you can see the timed explosives all around Taskmaster right now and there we go we didn't exactly time them well there but you see the mechanics of how that would work now just as we're actually whittling down Taskmaster and finishing off this video I will say that I do highly recommend Black Widow a lot of people see it as quite weak but I think they forget the amount she has in her kit with the stuns and the stealths and the weakens and the vulnerabilities uh, she really is a pretty great hero and I do highly recommend her so next up what I'll do for a beginner's guide is I'll put up another uh, poll on Twitter so do keep an eye out for that later on this evening and thanks for tuning in once more and I'll see you all again soon